Good morning. Um, so yesterday uh, we were at trying to work out how to get a slice of pointers across a DBus interface. Um, and we got to the point where we we're just trying to receive in this function here in the daemon. Um, we just basically took a copy instead of what I had before, which was a slice of pointers. We've now got a slice of variables, values as such. Um, and that kind of worked in combination with um, what did I send there? Oh, just plain copy. Uh, I think that's right. Yeah, we've got the it's a trap um, and in sync snippets on the test. So yeah, um, let's have my in sync snippets there. And then I failed it with it's a trap. But I was a bit surprised at that. So I expected to be able to send at least, at least send pointers. And it says in the docs, just looks this just now, that pointers, pointers encode as the value they're pointed to. But I don't know whether that means it works in a slice of pointers. It might just be if you have a pointer variable that will send the value. Um, uh, it does say here though, trying to encode any other type or a slice map or structure containing an unsupported type will result in an invalid type error. And we will get an, an invalid type error, I think. So what we had, invalid type. Um, so I think what I need to just do is a quick test to see whether with an empty an empty slice of pointers works. and results in copies getting received. Let's try that. So um, I'm just gonna kill off the daemon. I'll make that, okay. okay I'll make That he says. What? Ten two. Okay, why have we all of a sudden lost the analysis on that? What's happened? I lost nothing.
clash or something. Oh, I've lost the import. Why? What's going on? I lost that. Uh... Oh, I have internet access. So weird. Why does it do this? All right, let's quit that. D bus B five. Wonder why it was doing that. See now it works. Oh, it's not going to test. Um. Hmm. ID must have been just open too long or something. Then got a bit confused. Okay. Right, so run this and do the little test. Okay, cool. That's what we wanted. So I can all right so I can send pointers I just can't receive them which is natural you'd expect that but I swear I swear that that was working yesterday so it didn't work Hmm, okay. So, let's see how far we can get them. We want a slice of debus pointers. Uh, so a slice of pointers to debus snippets. We are getting a snippet. 
as a pointer in the right format. So that's that. So we can just assign it or append it to the array because it is a pointer already. Then we're sending it. Okay. Now in the main. That's fine. Okay. And then in the daemon. We're receiving copies. All right, well, let's leave it like that for the moment and do a run, run a test. Don't think this has changed, but we'll just check. No. This has changed. So we should get print out of all the imports, which is just the one. Yeah. Okay. And it went through. Good. Okay. Right. So we're creating here sync result, a new sync result and grabbing its pointer. Then here we are bailing out, but we don't really want to. This is the test. So this is debug. We're just going to, on the server, print out what we've received as the debug snippets. Now comes the fun bit. So normally this takes a pointer, but we don't have a pointer there. So this is going to go bang, isn't it? Do I need to just I would have thought in theory I should make that a pointer. Because otherwise that surely is going to fail. Let's try. Mm, doesn't like that. I need to create it first. And assign it the address of. But it's a range. So how do I do that? Well, maybe I'm overthinking this, maybe. Right, let's try it first to see what happens. So, da, da, da. we'll find out what that does in a minute. But in theory, see, I don't know how that's going to work. Can't work. Anyway, 
We'll find out in a minute. All right, so we're going to go through the array. I wonder if there's a way of, I could just like. Just do the address of. Hmm. Okay, we'll see in a minute. Uh, and then in theory, we should be able to get stuff. Um, and we should not enter here because it's a zero ID. Um, Let me try and get it again. With an abbreviation. If either has been found, we're going to skip it. Otherwise, we're going to insert it. We have an empty UID and last used so it should in theory work but i have a feeling we're gonna have a problem here i don't know why it's not complaining that's interesting okay so this hasn't changed but this has now So run it again, try and import and it worked because It created it. That was the second value. I've got a one for that. How does that work here? I don't get it. Why are we getting... Why is it doing that? Oh, because it's a reference to... Oh, <laughs> I'm reading that wrong. That, yeah, okay. It doesn't matter. I'm not to pass in a reference. It is a reference that it takes That's into the function to whatever you supply. Oh, okay. And it returns a reference, which is fine. Pointer, sorry. Uh, Cool, so if I run that again, I should get skipped one instead. Yeah. Because it found the abbreviation. And I could keep doing that. It's always going to do that. Um, and if I do... Um, list... There it is, it's the last one, because it said Wibble. This is in abbreviation order, and Wibble comes last. So it works. Cool. Kind of didn't expect that. Uh, good, right, okay. So we can basically finish off this happy path um, and clean up a bit as we go along. So we don't need that anymore. In the daemon, we just need to clean up now. Um, if nothing is brought in, that's fine. Return uh, zero all the things. Um, Start a transaction. Uh, 
For each snippet that's supplied, grab a real one. Don't need to print out. Okay. We're going to start looking for a current one. Done that to do. If we get an error, return out, that's fine. Otherwise, we may or may not have a current snippet here. If the current snippet is still nil, does the abbreviation match the existing snippet? Check for a current snippet. That sync snippet abbreviation. Maybe error out. Now roll back. If the current snippet has been found based on either of those two unique constraints, at the moment we're going to bail and just skip. So that's fine here. Yeah. Um, if we're here, let's just comment this. It's a new snippet. So we'll add it. If we get past that, update the created. If no errors, commit, and we've got a defer up here that will roll back if we ever exit without commit. Then we return the stats. Um, and at the moment, what have we got in the stats? We've got skipped, created, updated, and deleted. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, we haven't got anything for that at the moment, but we'll do eventually. Um, we're interested in these at the moment. So we can do these at the moment, and this is to be determined on the update. Okay. So that is happy path. Insert. Okay. And then the CLI here. Pretty simple. We just want to go grab them all. Convert to dbus. And send them on their merry way. Okay. And then in the main, we want to do something about the stats. Um, so, do I have another to do there? No. We're going to get some, some status here. Okay, so we've done that, doing that. So 
I was going to put Damon or Debus there, but I don't think I need to actually. Um, so we did a sync. We get some stats to do. Display stats status of bulk update. Could make it super simple. I love how all those have got the same number of letters. That's perfect. <laughs> cool. All right. Um, so done for Happy Path, apart from I need to do some tests. But OK, let's test it. Um, so I need to Kill this, make it, run it. Stop. Make. Okay. Uh, so the import should not do anything and should return. There you go. Skipped one, created zero, blah, blah, blah. So let's look at this. Let's do something else. Okay, so it's different. There you go, created. And just do it again and it should be skipped. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, let's get a couple of tests together on that. Um, I've got time for that, hopefully. So the CLI is hard to do any testing on there. Um, Although, yeah, no, we don't have any way of doing that. We need to extract all these things out at some point. Uh, they shouldn't really be just sitting in main here. Um, but not for today. And we'll do that some other time. Um, and we'll just create little wrapper functions that take, um, well, in fact, we could take, do a couple of wrapper functions really. Uh, we basically want something that wraps this, um, and then each one should have its own thing as well. And then we can test it so we can make sure that everything is as expected um so this is super simple at the moment 
Um, and we want which one's this? Damon. Okay. So here, I'm going to do some stuff. Uh, main, we don't need to do anything with. Let's boilerplate. CLI. We're now done with. Can't test that because it's all about the call to the dbus. Um, and as a result of doing the main on the CLI stuff, which is again what we just said, we need to refactor. And at some point, this is going to have more arcs to pass across here, like update, force update, um, use UID, um, or force update, but use abbreviation, or something like that. Don't know. I have to work that one out. Um, so the debus service, I think we're good there. There's nothing there that we need to change for test. Uh, we don't really have anything on that. Um, what have we got here? So the daemon is probably where we're going to do... Ah, what have we got here? Oh, that snip has fixed up all the tests and life for transactions. Thought I'd committed that. But we've got the new insert. And we test it to make sure it does the same thing now, doesn't it? And we made it so that. Add snippet just defers to insert snippet. So that's cool. Okay. Don't need to do any more there, I think. We just need to test the sync. Which is going to be fun. And we'll break soon, but that's the point in tests. So, we kind of want to do what have we got there. We've got add snippet. Add, get, ping, and remove. That's a good point. I forgot I even got that. So I can do... Right. Me something so I should, in theory, be able to do wibble back tick. And if I list, it's gone. If I do the wobble one, gone. 
And then if I do an import of the wobble again, we get created again. And skip, remove, import, credits, remove, list. Cool. Okay, good. I forgot I even did that. That's good. I needed to put test in. Um, okay. Do you know what would be fun? Let's do a quick. <laughs> Um, oh, I can't do that. Yeah, I need to fix that format and I was going to try and take um, cut minus D F2, but I'm going to get some junk as well, aren't I? Yeah. Because all this stuff is on the new lines. Hmm. Some other time, I need to fix that up and make it so that I can just just get the fields I want and or always have the first field well and have the first field as abbreviation really I think yeah anyway some other time I think uh, it's not important just now let's get this committed I think so we want to do And I think it'd be good to have scale up and running. And then we can just do new stuff on top. Um, so we're going to create Let's do this. Let's grab the snippets we've already got. Um, and we'll just get them all. Would you test that up there? So that should be fine. Um, what we want to now do is um, stats or error is uh, dot sync snippets. Ah, that's going to be the debus ones. So dbus snippets, which we don't have yet. So we'll just convert all these things, these results into snippets. So
that's a range we want to do. So we don't care about the key. Dbus snippet. Range of result and the D bus. Now let's do pointer thing image ago. D bus snippets. So we're just doing the opposite to what we do inside. Uh, D bus snippets. Uh, let's do a var. Oh no, we could just do an empty. Best to do a far of um, D bus service. Snippet because it expects that. Can I do... No, I better not. Well, that isn't actually... Dbus snippets Got to append Dbus snippets Dbus snippet uh, that should have been a sign why is it not like that? So I thank you. How can you not? It's the same. What the hell? Why have I not got the same as... Uh... Did I type it wrong? No. Oh, I did put the four in front, that's why it's confused. Okay. That's fun. Yeah. 
guess I just destruct it then. Okay. Cool. All right. So, and then we throw it in, and then we test it. So, we should get back. All right, well, there's no error for stars. Let's do that. Um, So let's do stats dot skipped three. Done that already. Let me just do this so um and it's updated. No, it's not as created, isn't it? Let's try and keep it in the same order each time. They should all be zero. Is that when use them? Alright. At the end, nothing output. Yes, on the server, nothing output. Okay. And then, so that should be, nothing here has changed. But here, I've just put stuff in. Hello. Oh, that is not a normal error. So, yeah. Go about that. Oh, what do I do? Yeah, nail. Expect to nail back.
Didn't do the service thing, did I? But hold on, no, I did do it. Creates it, does it, returns it, adds the database tables. So it works above, but not here. Why? Maybe because of the panic? Don't know why. Ah, okay. Confusing. There's nothing different there. Okay, let's get this consistent with what I just saw.
Yeah. No, that's fine. We did that test. Did we? No, we didn't. Okay, so I think the problem is can't do a read while in a transaction. So, if I bring up the thing again, and a list, right, there's no, neither of the uh, examples there. So, if I take... that is and I do two so we've got two different um, records and I try and import them. So it must be an in memory thing then. I've run out of time. Why is it failing? I'm not closing it anywhere. I'm doing a get snippets. I mean, that's working. Otherwise, well, it has to work, otherwise we wouldn't be Very strange. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as I put this back, it's going to fail. No such table. Well, That's a bit of a pain. Why is that happening? Why did it not happen? Well, these are all fairly easy. It's doing all the stuff. It's adding the snippets, which means it have to have the table.
same here. It's all working. Found it. And then it fails. Can't think why it would fail on an in-memory as opposed to real. Because that's all the difference there. We just proved it works. Okay. Uh, well, I need to stop now anyway. But that is annoying. That test is failing. But of course the manual test works. Uh, where? I mean, I know why, but I just want... Does it not give you a... Oh, there we go. 186, yeah. We don't have a stats because it's failed. That's why you've got to do that test there. But why is it failing when it really does work? No such table. Is it not a sign in? Okay, well, I just need to fix that now. Tomorrow. What time now? Uh, 
See, that's the thing, right? Passing in, and we're doing DB. We're only using the DB. X is the same. Don't know. Something to look at another day. Well, on that disappointing end, because I thought I'd just get the test done and complete. Um, guess I need to go. Um, so thanks for watching um, and until next time, take care.